We are live. Welcome, everybody. And thank you so much, Dr. Prins, for being here with us. This is, for those of you who don't know me, I am Rose, one of the co-founders of Your Natural Healthcare CBD company. And today we are lucky enough to have Dr. Leslie Prins with us. Thank you for thank being you. with us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I know normally we'd be talking in a more formal uh, environment versus both of us isolated, but um, I really appreciate you taking the time to get your message and your knowledge to um, all of our customers. I We're hope all... I can be a benefit. Thank you. We are all struggling, you know, with different different versions of um, struggling for peace of mind or struggling for health or you know wherever you are. Maybe you're you're just loving having to be home. Whatever space you're in is fine, but. I know that we're all pulling together to really kick this this situation and get rid of this virus. So I thought nobody better than one of our advisors. Um, so Dr. Leslie Prince, for those of you guys who don't know him and everybody should know him, um, has graduated from, I'm gonna read you this little blurb about you. It's always fun to be talked about. Um, graduated from the University of Kentucky, Connecticut, there we go in 1971 with a bachelor's in sociology and then completed the doctor of chiropractic degree at the western states chiropractic college in portland oregon and then began his academic career at life chiropractic college west in san francisco bay area he then established luckily for us a chiropractic practice on the island of alameda and you practiced there for over 25 years right 35 yeah 35 years. And um, in the process, also gathered a lot of other training and tools. And I know for me, my experience has been, I wouldn't be able to do half of the things I've been able to do if it wasn't for you and your wisdom and your practices. And, you know, wh whether I'm following them or not, <laughs> they've made a big difference in in my life and, and what I'm capable of. So I um, really appreciate you giving your wisdom, not just treating patients, but educating people too. And that really makes you stand out against, you know, most people who are just running people through their practice. You are really committed to educating people and we appreciate that. It's my pleasure. I hope I can make a, a positive effect in folks. You do and you have. So, so I wanted to start with a pretty generic question and give you really the freedom to to say whatever there is for you to say which is what advice would you give everyone on how to stay healthy right now you know i mean you read on the internet all sorts of tip, tips and things to do and things not to do and you know what would you say for us in, in being able to stay healthy staying healthy as i drink make my, it... my neon pink vitamin c water <laughs> exactly well uh health boils down to uh, a combination of three things, which I, I'm guessing you may have wanted to touch upon later, but if you can coordinate your nutritional intake with your exercise intake, with your emotional status, with your intellectual mental status and your spiritual status, and you can kind of balance all that up, juggle them all appropriately, um, you generally will be fairly healthy and you have to make good choices. So mm -hmm. sometimes we don't want to make good choices. And I go, if you're going to indulge in your guilty pleasures, realize you will pay for your guilty pleasures, but it's just like the bank. You make a deposit, you get a withdrawal. So hopefully you'd like to get good withdrawals. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It does. So in other words, from the nutritional I always tell people, you don't eat enough vegetables. You got to have a variety of vegetables. Um, you know, you got to have, and they should be a variety of colors in the vegetables. So, but lots of them are, so your green leafies, your peas, your beans, your lentils, your broccoli, your Brussels sprouts, your beets, your avocado, asparagus. Oh, we can go on and on. If you'll go through the organic food section, um, and have one of everything, you're probably going to do quite well. Mm. Um, and most of us won't do that. You'll pick out your broccoli and that's what you eat forever and nothing else yeah. <laughs> as a green. I had my green. It was broccoli. Okay. Exactly. What else did you have? I had, I had 
I had a little avocado. It was green. Okay, <laughs> we're done. Um, yeah, so uh, variety is the key. Um, if you're willing to do that, uh, most of your gut flora will be happy. Um, some people need to uh, augment it and increase it or modify it with various other things, but that's a different story. So if you were just to eat well, most of the time you're going to improve your immunity and your immunity is affected by stress. So right now I would say the planet is globally under stress yes. because everyone is supposed to be sheltered in place and there are people who hear it but don't listen to it. So they're out doing things they shouldn't do, which is affecting other people. You never know if you're a carrier of this COVID-19 going around um, because you have no symptoms and yet you can still expose and affect other people. But if your immunity is in great shape, then you are much less likely to have severe symptoms unless you have other comorbidities going on with it. Um, any uh, pulmonary issues, GI issues, autoimmune issues, just to name a few. Um, and I'm sure everybody's heard this list 5,000 times over the last two weeks anyway. So um, I just say, keep your immune strong, uh, eat well, uh, have your green tea, have your one ounce of dark chocolate, 92%, have your blueberries and blackberries and raspberries and strawberries and you don't have to have a ton of them, a cup a day. Um, eat your greens, have your green tea a couple of times a day, and uh, it, it will help. Now you said being, so physical activity, and it's, it's really inspiring. There's a whole bunch of people and celebrities and, and apps that are making, um, like there's one I really love called Down Dog, uh, which is a yoga app, and, and they're making their app available for, to the general public to give us access to the exercise. And then you said about stress. So what's your technique to avoid stress? Ooh. Or I guess we can't really avoid stress. Let me yeah, say- I was gonna say, you can't avoid it. You can deal with it okay. and hopefully you deal with it out without anger because that will add to your stress. <laughs> yes. Um, so I don't know. I think it's a mental attitude. I kind of go, you know, nothing's so bad that we have to go get upset over. Um, we're not out in tons of traffic with idiots cutting you off or, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, so you have to have the right attitude, I think. And I don't know, how do you get the right attitude? Don't let things bother you. It's easy to say. Yeah. Um, and for some, it's extremely difficult. And for others, it's like, what are you what are you upset about why are you getting nervous over this stuff it's nothing and somebody else is screaming and crank going crazy over it because it bugs them and yeah. uh you know so how do you handle stress i you know stay well, calm I, stay calm exactly which yes easier done either it's easier said than done yeah. i know for me i've been you know interviewing people in the last week which has been really inspiring everyone's different techniques and and tools but um, there's a couple of things I'm doing. One, obviously, is our CBD spray, using yes. CBD, which you know helps bring your body into homeostasis. And if your cortisol level is too high, that's one of the things that's off in your balance. So that can help you adjust that your your stress hormone. Um, yes. I also, I also have a desk garden, which is kind of silly, but I uh, but I have uh, let's see, I think at least ten plants here in my little oh, garden, nice. my window, and um. And then I have little like arts and crafts things that I play with while I'm working because it's sort of a, a something I do to amuse myself and keep myself that generally upbeat. And that along with exercise for me has really been making a difference. Anything yeah, it's much better than being sedentary. Exactly. And everybody has their own way of being active. Uh, my son will sit on the floor and run through 20 minutes of exercises and I, I now don't comment on them anymore. I just let him do his thing and he does them and uh, it seems to keep him pretty calm. Yeah. So everybody has their own way to do this. Yoga is a wonderful thing. Uh, breathing exercises I have done and they seem to help me a lot. Um, so 
you know, you've picked something that allows you to stay grounded. Um, if you can imagine being in, there's two areas where we, where we love to be, to be grounded. One is the mountaintops mm. and the others where there's water. Yes. So, and especially waterfalls, if you were able to get near that, because the sound yeah. of gurgling water and water falling and waves crashing and, and just the greenery of mountains tends to change our negative ion situation so that we are more calm. And now, you know, we're all exposed to all the EMFs that, in the, that are now bombarding all of the, the universe, especially as we move into 5G. Mm. Uh, and I was just reading about the Schurman effect, resonance, Schurman resonance, which is what the Earth gives off. And NASA has included the shoe. They found out initially when the astronauts came back, they were really more irritable and not as happy as we would hope they would be after having a uh, space flight. So they then included the shower, uh, shower, showerman uh, effect and resonance in the capsules where the uh, astronauts are. And they came back much happier because it allowed them to stay grounded with the universe as it were because we are tuned into that universe our circadian rhythms are tuned into that um, for those that want to know it's 7.83 hertz it's pretty low um, but that particular thing is something interesting you can go probably on to your uh, smartphones and maybe ask it to give you a 7.83 hertz for 30 seconds to a minute, there's probably a, an app for it. I haven't looked. Um, and doing that once or twice or three times a day for a couple of minutes might help you stay grounded and calm as well. Just as an example, everybody has their own way to be grounded and stay uh, centered. That's really great. And, and I thought that, you know, being in nature was sort of a personal preference thing, but you're saying there's actually actually scientific and, and, and body reasons that that's so calming. Yeah, take off your shoes and socks and go walk in the grass. Then you get some of the grounding effect of that. If you're at the beach, go walk on the sand barefooted, you know? So yes. those are things that are easy enough to do. I think everybody's got grass unless they're in the middle of the city and uh, there is no such thing as grass. It's all cement and concrete. Um, parks. You can go to parks. But you could, yeah, and even that you have to be careful because, you know, is that an essential travel? You know, now they're getting kind of sticky on doing some of these little things that we're, we're recommending to do. So, yeah. Now, you you mentioned a little bit ago about the tr sort of triangle of health. And I know you've <clears throat> before in my visits to you, you have expressed the impact of emotional, physical and what's the other one? Chemical. Okay. Chemical. Chemical. Yes. Can you say more about that and how important that balance is and and how those are all interconnected? Um, well, I kind of alluded to them when I said eating, thinking, um, being emotionally present. Um, think about it. If you're doing the physical, then you're staying active. You're not just sedentary, with the exception of those folks that are stuck with being sedentary. It's a sad thing. Um, but they can at least do motion, hopefully some of them, even if it's minute. Um, intellectual, emotional is uh, read. I know that's a strange thing instead of just watching videos, but read something, uh, listen to podcasts and that make you think, um, laugh a lot. Um, uh, try to be as emotionally stable as you possibly can. Uh, sometimes that's more difficult, easier said than done. Um, and then on the chemical side, we already talked about doing the proper eating of, of nutritional foods so that you can kind of keep that balance going. And it's that combination. See, we try to make things oversimplistic and say, oh, I'm just upset because so-and-so told me off. And I'm going, no, it's a whole combination of things, because if somebody tells you off and, and the rest of you is fairly balanced, you might be upset for a few minutes because they were right. And if they weren't right, then you wouldn't be upset at all, probably at all. You yeah. would just come back with an appropriate comment. Uh, but if you have balance, I think you handle the universe and its uh, 
intricacies a little better. Yeah. Um, we try to make things oversimplified. And I keep saying the universe is intricately simple and simply intricate. So, <laughs> uh, it you know, it's kind of oxymoronic, but if you actually think about it, that's fairly true. And so even when you go to your doctors, they just tell you, oh, it's this. Well, it's not just that. There's a 500 things that get to you to that point. And if you can cut it off at the pass at the proper place, the like likelihood of getting to where you ended up having to go might not have occurred. Yeah, I can definitely tell for myself that the my, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I guess it was like a week ago, I was sick and uh, with a cold, I just had a cold and um, and then I was worried. So I had not been active, not healthy, and then I got worried. So then it was the emotional, you know, and the physical. And I definitely did not deal with um, emotional things as well as I might have because the other areas were not stable. And I can see it's it's like if I'm if I do the things I know keep my energy tank full, then I can withstand a lot of emotional impacts. And when right. I like when you said laughing, if I'm laughing and having fun, you know, a, a fear of what's going to happen in the market or fear of protecting my loved ones and you know all of that, it doesn't get to me as much as as uh, when I'm having fun and laughing as it does when I'm emotionally drained or not doing my practices. So I like what you said, it's it's simply intricate and intricately simple. <laughs> yeah, well, so, it's just a matter of getting balance. Yeah. You know, if you can keep the teeter totter fairly balanced, I think you'll find that life moves much easier for you if you as but that's not real. So what's real is the teeter totter goes back and forth. Yes. And you, you have to deal with it when it's up and you have to deal with it when it's down. But if yeah. you can keep the ups and downs less severe, it makes life much easier for, I think, everyone. Yeah. It's and like, maybe I'm oversimplifying it. No, I think that I think you're not. I think that that's what it comes down to is that we both we all have a, a I'll say, responsibility to keeping our balance in those areas and right. living the best lives that we can. I, right. I think it's brilliant. Right. Um, Let's talk about, let's just see, what practices you have or, or beliefs or, or tools, um, obviously other than CBD, <laughs> that, that you used for being healthy physically. Um, oh, it's usually as, sorry to interrupt, but as we just spoke, it's all connected, right? So uh, right, right. you don't need to limit it to that. Um. What tools? Oh boy. So the physical is easy. Um, everybody knows that they should be doing something movement rather than sitting on the couch 24 um, seven. So I don't know that I have to go into that much. Uh, you have to pick the physical thing that you enjoy doing, otherwise you're not gonna do it. Um, and sometimes you have to do it uh, repetitively for a few weeks just to get to the point where you go you know that's not so bad maybe i can do that more often. if you did it once or twice the chances are you're going to go i'm done with that <laughs> all right so that's the physical part um pick your poison whether it's yoga tai chi qigong meditation uh and you'd go well meditation isn't physical but it can be um because all the uh eastern most of the eastern um uh, methodologies include meditation in their activities um you could paint you could do calligraphy you could do uh boy oh boy the list is endless you it's you have to pick your poison whichever and enjoy it mm. you know don't let it beat you up and start yeah. off in small bites so that you don't start off so big that you go well i'm never doing that again because yeah. you overdid it so um you could do origami you could do you know pick a hobby yeah. um and 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 put yourself into it fully and that'll be meditative for you uh, so um that generally once you're in a meditative state usually you're emotionally in a nice calm spot 
which usually allows you to then do more physically, which then will change your chemistry and everything, all those three uh, things, the chemistry structure and uh, emotional, intellectual, psychic, spiritual will all flow better together. Um, mm. It's kind of like the acupuncturist, we have it broken down to uh, 14 meridians, but it's really one big meridian. Mm. Um, but we break it down so you can deal with those various parts better. Does that make sense? It does. It does. Any so, particular any particular supplements you'd recommend or or um, tools like that? What? How would you recommend people, especially at this time? You right. know, if you don't already have something, obviously, I'm recommending that people have CBD and to have a regular a regular diet of CBD and. Um, I do my, my spray of <clears throat> the CBD spray, um, two sprays in the morning and two sprays at night. That's my, my ritual, other yep. people, droppers and all that stuff. But other than CBD, which by the way, for those of you who are watching, we're doing a special, you can order on the website. Peace of mind is the code and you get 15% off and free shipping. So, um, get yourself set up anyway. So CBD. That's the side thing. <laughs> what other what other products or supplements? Kudos on the kudos on the ad. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Um, other things, uh, nutritionally wise, uh, think of adaptogenic herbs or things that are uh, immuno enhancing. Um, so there are so many. Uh, I almost don't want to even go into that list. Um, but I believe if you look up immuno enhancing, you'll see a, quite a list of different things. Um, your B vitamins get uh, depleted uh, with excess stress, um, which you definitely need for energy. And most of us are uh, B deficient. Um, the thing I tell people about vitamins or supplements are, A, you must know the quality of that vitamin. Uh, in other words, I'm not here to bash any uh, particular companies, but there are some companies that are happy to give you vitamins that are made by the train car load instead of <laughs> in maybe smaller amounts that have a higher quality control. Um, so that's very important. And then there are times when you do not need some of these things. So you're over supplementing yourself and that creates an issue with toxicity because your body has to uh, it then eliminates some of those things. So rather than give you a specific, um, I mean, we all need to have the appropriate chemistry to make us function better. Mm -hmm. um, and some of us have our own genetic and epigenetic uh, issues that then change how all those gears work. So for instance, if you thought of it kind of like We've all been in traffic where the light changed and nobody moved. <laughs> 12 seconds. And it seems like a year. Yes. And if everybody <laughs> would just step on the gas at three, four, five miles an hour, we'd all move and everybody would be sort of happy. Yes. <laughs> um, but if it's not moving here, then perhaps it's moving too fast somewhere else in the, in the chemical system. And so you have to learn over time, how to modify that slowness and modify that speed to get it to be less slow and less fast so that you have a nice operational system of the gears moving appropriately. Otherwise, you're going to have a bottleneck again, and now you're going to be everybody stopped at a light that's green. Yes. Does that make sense? It does. So it does. No, I know I, I didn't know. answer that with specifics, but. <laughs> well, I think what you said is it's it, each person and each body and each circumstance, it's, it's can change. Yes. Uh, so that people should really look at one, the, the quality of the products that they're buying right. um, and that they're made, you know, ideally small batches, good ingredients, that type of thing not by the truckload and um, make sure that they're getting the right in the right pr products that they need. Now, I know that right. that's something that you do. Are you doing that now while you're sheltering at home? Are you consulting with people in, in around supplements and like that? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I would say no, not, not specifically at this point. I'm kind of setting up to do uh, 
how do you say it? Telemedicine, tele, yes. telepharmacy, yes. tele supplementation. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, and so um, I will say that I don't treat a specific diagnosis or, or, or malady. I try to do things to make your system be enhanced so that your immune system can do its job because your body really wants to be well. And then we do the things that upset the apple cart so that it, it is not well. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so, and you know, I'm, everybody should have some poison. Mine happens to be ice cream in the evening. I don't, <laughs> I don't take a ton of it, but I do get a couple spoonfuls and yeah, that's my poison. And the rest of the time I'd say pretty good. Uh, <laughs> watch your salt intake definitely stay away from processed foods don't have you definitely don't want sugar i'm sorry i just admitted to having sugar in my ice cream <laughs> um, but sugar mouths love sugar bodies hate sugar infection mm. love sugar yeah so bacterial infections viral infections love sugar so um, if you'd like to be, if you're already fighting colds or influ, influenzas or different things like that, stay away from the sugars for a little bit. Right. Um, usually when you've stayed away from sugar for, uh, you know, three to four to five weeks, your crave for sugar diminishes radically. And then if you stay away from it, you, there's really no need for it. Um, yeah. You get sugar in all your, in basic <laughs> foods anyway, but if you're eating well, you won't get much sugar at all. That makes sense? It does totally. It's totally no to be true i i was i was saying i've been um, baking for stress reduction lately and and i i let my family know last night that the baking is about to stop <laughs> so that we'll, we'll see it's very meditative it is very meditative but i think i'll paint instead it's oh, okay less, less sugar in your body <laughs> that's true that's true so it's really great when you're up and ready and 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 ready to go for your telemedicine and your practice and all of that um we'll schedule another interview and make sure that that people know how to reach you and and how to get that that support and healing that you provide because you're very good at it and we're lucky to have someone like you who's willing to gather so much knowledge and and have it uh, make a difference in our all of our health and vitality oh, it's my pleasure thank Thanks. you thank Thanks. you for having me my pleasure and we'll have you again okay thank you